It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, May 23rd. I'm James Spann. The weather stays wet at times through tomorrow. Maybe a few new record low maximum temperatures tomorrow. And then after that, we warm back up by the end of this week and the weekend. Big deep upper trough this morning, digging down across the middle of the country. That'll be passing over Alabama tomorrow, keeping things rather unsettled. That was the radar early this morning. About 5 o'clock, the most widespread rain was south of Interstate 20 at this point. Uh, just a soaking rain falling for places like uh, Demopolis, Montgomery, Auburn, Lake Martin. Some patchy light rain across the northern part of the state. And understand it's not going to rain all day today, but uh, we'll see some rain at times through tomorrow. We're in the 60s early this morning. We will not get out of the 70s today because of clouds and showers. Around the nation, much cooler back in the western states. And again, tomorrow, we'll struggle to get out of the 60s. One of the coolest late May days on record here based on afternoon highs. On the watch warning map, most of the issues are down here across the southeastern states. We have flash flood watches from southeast Louisiana up into extreme southern Virginia. In Alabama, the watch is basically for the southern half of the state. It includes Sumter, Green Hale, Bibb, Chilton, Coosa, Clay, Randolph counties, and counties on down to the south. There's the convective outlook for today. Got a risk of severe weather across south Texas and through parts of the southeastern states. In Alabama, the standard slight risk for cities like Eufaula, Ozark, Enterprise, and Dothan. We have a marginal risk of severe weather today from Fort Morgan to Montgomery and near Roanoke. The area's in darker green. And then tomorrow... For Wednesday, we have a marginal risk of severe weather uh, from near the southern shores of Weiss Lake down to about Verbena and Atmore. Again, the area is in darker green, and we don't expect any tornado problems, maybe some storms in those zones with small hail and gusty winds. And this is the rain for the next seven days. Understand this goes through Tuesday morning of next week and the heaviest rain over the Tennessee Valley as it looks like late this weekend and early next week, that's where the heaviest rain access will be. But certainly all of this has been very, very beneficial for uh, our state, which parts of the state, of course, are still in drought conditions. So here we go, the GFS, the 06E run at 1 o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars, and look at that trough. Wow. Down below that, we have a moist air mass in place down here. But understand, uh, you know, it's not going to rain all day today. This is the high-res her model uh, valid this afternoon at three o'clock and you can see only spotty showers uh, this big rain mass we had uh, late yesterday last night early this morning it's worked over the atmosphere so uh, for the SEC baseball tournament they'll get I think most all the games in uh, just be aware there could be a passing shower from time to time but clearly the rain today not as widespread as last night cloudy highs in the 70s Tomorrow, that deep upper trough swings through here. Deep surface lows over Kentucky. Here's the uh, high-res NAM tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, a batch of showers coming through. And then tomorrow night at 10 o'clock, another batch of showers coming through. So we'll maintain the chance of occasional showers tomorrow, cloudy and cool. The uh, NAM is showing a high of only 70. And if that's the case, that will be a new record low high. These are the anomalies tomorrow. And you can see much of the eastern in central states, way below average. Thursday should be a brighter day. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. And again, highs only in the mid-70s, way below average. Friday, Friday morning will be nice and cool. Most spots probably in the 50s. We could see 40s for the colder pockets. And then during the day, we warm back up in the 80s. It will finally feel like late May again. What about the weekend, you ask? This is Saturday. Moisture will be increasing and... We might mention a small chance of a shower Saturday. At the moment, we'll leave it just warm and dry with highs in the 80s. And then Sunday, we'll have a chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially for the northern half of the state. Uh, Sunday's high mid-80s. It's not going to rain all day, but it should rain a time or two Sunday. And then Monday, Memorial Day, we'll maintain a chance of showers and storms with a surface boundary approaching from the north. And a week from today, Tuesday, May 30th, look at that, another trough developing over the eastern states. And again, uh, that uh, looks like a drier day with uh, pleasant temperatures, if this verifies. This is the end of the, uh, end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, June 1st, first day of meteorological summer, troughing over the northeastern states. And again, that looks dry and pleasant. 
Check the numbers off the European. Look at those 70s. Uh, the European has 75 today, 71 tomorrow, and 72 on Thursday. Wow. Uh, lows down in the uh, 50s early Thursday and Friday morning. And again, the colder pockets will probably see 40s. And after that, numbers uh, getting closer to average values for May with highs going back in the low and mid 80s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.